the regulatory structure is such that you can't find those ways to provide for your family. My name is Jennifer Zambo. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the Mercatus Center at George Mason University. In my family, we have the story of my great-grandmother, whose name was Eugenia, and she came over from Italy, and she married a man she met on the boat, and they had children, and that was all great. When she first came, she worked in the sweatshops sewing, and then they emigrated out to Lake Pennsylvania, and he was a blacksmith, but it was a dying industry. And they ended up in South Jersey, and she had to find a way to keep the family together because they didn't have a lot of money and so she started selling notions which for the young among you are like thread and needles and things that were used in sewing out of the front room of their rented apartment in about 1897 and from that selling of notions from their rented apartment she developed that into a chain of four dry goods stores across South Jersey that brought the family out of poverty well into the middle class by about 1910. And it's to me amazing that she could do this as an immigrant who English was like her third language and that she had that opportunity and ability to do that, but mainly the opportunity. And it's because of that story that I came to Mercatus because of its regulatory work, because I see Mercatus as a place that works to keep the Eugenias of today able to provide for themselves and their families, because you couldn't do that today if you came from, say, Guatemala or Italy or Kenya, or even if you're in the backwoods of, you know, parts of the United States and you're trying to do that. The regulatory structure is such that you can't find those ways to provide for your family. And that's why I came here and that's why I stay. Thank you.